Time to get to some black excellence. It's time to get to some black excellence. Ain't that right, bruh? Amen. It's time to get to some black Amen. excellence. Well, Ain't that right, it. Chuck? Let's go. Time to yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So listen, it says, I'm going to read this caption, and then I'm going to let the video rock. It says, TJ Henderson, who? It's all about Shania Muhammad. This 16-year-old is going viral after hopping on a TikTok trend and sharing her experience as a third-grade teacher. I don't think y'all heard me. Let me mm. run this back. 16 years old, and she's a third-grade TJ, teacher? TJ Henderson, who? What? Fuck the smart guy. Let's talk about the smart girl real Ooh, quick. Can please. we do that? Please. It's all about Shania Muhammad. This 16-year-old is going viral after hopping on a TikTok trend and sharing her experience as a third-grade teacher. Shania is currently the youngest teacher in America, and during her recent appearance on a Jennifer Hudson show, she opened up about her educational journey. I'm going to go ahead and let these videos rock, man. Shout out to Shania Muhammad. Let me man, play shout this. Out to let, the me, point, let, me, let me play this for y'all real quick, man. Teacher, anytime I tell people I'm 16, they always respond, no, you're not. I'm a 16-year-old teacher. Of course my students are walking around in the hallways talking about some, my teacher, the youngest teacher in America. Duh. <laughs> I'm a 16-year-old teacher. Anytime I tell someone that I'm a 16-year-old teacher, they always ask, how does parent-teacher conferences go? Ooh, wow. I'm a 16-year-old teacher. 16-year-olds can drive. I drive to work. I don't get dropped off. <laughs> I'm a 16-year-old teacher. Of course people are going to doubt my abilities to actually do my job. I'm a 16-year-old teacher. By the time I was 15, I obtained my third degree. Mm. I'm qualified. Pop your shit. I'm a 16-year-old mm. teacher. Pop your shit. Of course, shit. when I started hold college on, when on. I was 13 years old, and since then, at 14, I graduated with two associate's degrees on the same day, and I could tell you that day was insane. The same yeah. day? The same yeah. day. Yeah. Yeah. That and equal a master's to me. Since I graduated again, making history at Langston University. Langston University. Langston University. I know a little something about that. Mm. Langston University. <laughs> um, and uh, I graduated with my bachelor's, and now I'm 16, a third grade teacher, the youngest teacher in the United States. <laughs> and uh, working on my master's of business and administration in administration and marketing, so I will finish my MBA in the spring and I'll make history again at 16 Ooh. years old. Talk to me. At Started 16, college though. when I was 13 years old. Yeah. At 16, then. Baby girl got two associates and a bachelor's. <laughs> Ob obtained two of them at the same time on the same, on the same day. day. Hold on, man. Hey, Nino, can you, uh, can you send me that link? I got to do some more further. Looking into in that, like with short, like lie. with sh with Shorty as a black man, as a parent, as a man, period. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I try to teach. My, I try to, uh, uh, you know, being a parent, we learn. I I know, I understand the 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 decisions that was made from my mama. Mm -hmm. Uh, and we don't always make the best decisions. You know what I'm saying? Or choices when it comes to our kids. Yeah. With that being said, as a as a man, I try to teach my daughters different. I try I be on them a little harder mm -hmm. to how they carry to carry themselves and deal, you know what I'm saying? Because this is what I have envisioned for them. This is what I want to push them towards. Yeah. This is what I want you to have the desire for. No longer do we have to be a st uh, 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 stati a statistic, uh, statistic. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. We don't. It, it don't. It don't. You don't have to. We don't have to continue to carry this. And I just, I would love to see her environment and how she grew up. You know what I'm saying, from birth to to 16. Because like. She probably live in a house with a Cliff and a Claire Huxtable. As fuck, no, for real, <laughs> bro. A lot of people are Both put parents in. Both doctors. A lot of people are put in good situations, you know what I mean? But it's, it's really up to you to become who you are or what God, you know what I'm saying, destined you to be or, you know what I mean? Because, like, 
everybody can't just tap into their mental like that. You know what I mean? Right. And, you know what I'm saying? The focus is crazy, bro. Like, but I'm a, not not. Hold on, before you say something, because mm -hmm. you've been getting it in respectfully. You've been doing your thing. <laughs> this is what I want to say. Yeah. I felt like it was extremely important to highlight this lady, this young lady, mm -hmm. this young woman, because she's 16, but she's a third grade teacher yeah. and she drive herself to work. God damn it. Yeah. That's a girl. That's a woman. <laughs> um, <coughs> we highlight so much bullshit and so much fuckery mm -hmm. on this platform because that's what that's just the, the news cycle for us. That's just what the world offers us. And that's what we. You know what I mean? Really, That's what they really. put in our face. Yeah. So for this to be able to crack through the bullshit, like mm -hmm. to filter itself through the bullshit and make this to like mainstream news, I you know, I just felt like it was extremely important to highlight her. It's really yeah. groundbreaking. It is, bro. Like she just sure. made history, bro. Like she said, I'm about to do it again. What? I ain't gonna lie, Boy, man. It puts a smile on my face for the to fence. see that type of uh, excellence mm -hmm. from young people, though. Yeah, from us though. From us, uh, that's yeah, what I'm saying. That, right. that that that's what I'm saying. And, and and it shows you right the magnitude of the brain, bro. Like mm -hmm. we can be, but we choose not to because of how of uh, the position that we put our kid. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's that's yeah. what I was getting ready to say. Because she, if she do got a a, a cliff in the clear, Huxable in the house, mm -hmm. she was in a position. She was set up correctly. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? For sure. And a lot of and, and for her to be 16, you she has to she had to have been in the position. Mm -hmm. Rather, it was from two parents or one. Mm -hmm. And that and if it was just one, then that one parent was in a in a in a wonderful situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If not, she had a powerful drive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And just to double back off something you said before I forget, you said that um, you know, sometimes we do certain shit with our kids or something. We make certain mistakes when it comes to parenting. Mm -hmm. You feel me? But we also got to keep in mind there there's books to this, but we know this is realistically speaking. This is life. There is no book is no to book. this. Real talk. No, no, no. At the end of the day, bro, we're still winging it because everybody is different. You can't base your your situation and your relationship and somebody's the way somebody think off of somebody else's experience that they put in the book. We just winging this shit. Right. We rolling the dice and we ba we 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 be uh we hoping for the best outcome. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So with that, you know, you just got to keep that in mind as well, like because ain't nobody perfect. No, yeah. not at all. The reason for me saying what I was saying was it was it was because it took for me to be a parent to understand the decisions that was made by my parents. Exactly. Yeah, for sure. But for exactly. me to double See back, yeah, listen, but for, the reason I'm double backing and, and speaking to that yes, sir. is because somebody's going to hear this and they're going to be able to um, empathize with what you're saying. Mm -hmm. They're going to be able to understand where you're coming from. Right. And they might need to hear this. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, you okay. might be making as a parent, you might not be doing uh, as good as you want to, but there ain't no book to this shit and you just winging it. Yeah, none at all. Not but at all. with that being said, there's nothing but room for improvement. You feel me? Yeah. So that's just for yeah. not for that. I double back not for you, but for our viewer for the, for the, and our listenership. Yes, you know Amen. What I'm Amen. Um,